So in this coffee machine project, we have initially some data with some type of coffee like espresso, latte, and cappuccino. With some ingredients like water, coffee, we have cost, and other properties like milk here. And of course, we set profit to zero because it's a business coffee machine, so we have a profit for selling them to customer. That's why we add this cost here. So, and uh, of course we have resources means this is a stock means our machines have a water 1000 milliliter, milk 700 milliliter, and coffee 800 gram. So it will be minus when they uh, buy something like a customer uh, buy cappuccino coffee. So this will minus uh, water 250, milk 100, coffee 24 from this stock here. So let's try the program to make it real machine. First of all, we want to check if this is on or off. So check this if machine is on, we will run some program. Otherwise, we'll stop it. So initially, our machine will be on here. So we take a variables on and set it to true. Then we check while is on means while it is on. We take a variable here choice. So this is the choice. It is users will input here. So just take an input here and we'll ask some question about what we like. Okay. And of course we set some option here like this option like espresso or latte or cappuccino. So if from now we run this code, we'll see that there is a prompt here. What do what would you like? Like espresso, latte or cappuccino. So I can enter like latte. It will ask again, again, because it won't stop because we set it to well or not because it always is true. There is no other execution to stop this process. So let's write another program like if choice equals to off, then we need to exit this process. So this on should be false. Okay. So the choice means this input when there is the user type off here, it will be run out the program. So let's see again. So if I run latte, it's okay, fine. If I run off here, it will, it will be stop the process. Stop the program, okay? So you can see, process finished with exit code zero. So we are now here. Check if if this choice is something like if you type report, so they want to see the report, how many resources have there or what's the profit they've made so print the resources as well as profit here so we have water this water is come from resource so resources so it's automatically added this asterisk here you can see here this f this way it's work with the color braces so we have resource this resource has a pro water so we need to access them this water here this is the water and of course, we have to make a small liter. And then we have to copy, we have to copy them and make another print. This time it's a milk here. We'll say that resources, this milk here. And the third one is our coffee. And the last one is a profit. This profit is comes from this variable here, profit. In the letter, we will write functions it will process this profit to increase so right now this we wanted to show this profit here as a in a color braces this profit here and this profit is a money so we need to add a dollar before them and they still need this more later so now save here and run this code so now if i run if we run latte it's okay no problem if this report means users type report here we wanted to print the resources, the current resources what we have right now. So if I type enter, you can see there there's water, milk, coffee, and profit with a dollar and uh, the profit value. And uh, now else we can take a variable called a drink, and this drink is comes from data. This data, and we need to pass this choice here. This data has a choice. This choice is, comes from input, so if users type espresso, it will be target this espresso here, 
and return the ingredients here with water and coffee. And uh, if the users type latte, it'll target the latte here. Okay, write a function called is resources. So we check that is resources sufficient. We'll write this function in the top. Like a function here is resource sufficient for item in. So we take a inputs parameter. It will iterate these inputs and will check this inputs in this item. We will pass this item as a drink, like a drink, and we'll just ingredients. So these drinks take the data of the choice. So this will target every type of the coffee here, like latte, cappuccino. So every ingredients here, this one, this one, or this one. Okay. That's why we take this in a for loop here. So iterate all of this, and then we check this that there are greater than resources otherwise if they are greater than resources we'll check them print here and say them sorry there is not enough money and then we can say this item not enough or we can say that not enough not money but not enough the item this input of items means it'll target individuals like water and coffee and uh, it'll also check that this with the resource like the resource has water so it's greater we need to return true otherwise we'll add the other function right there that's why we need to return the true to next to go to the next process okay it's time to check that the cost here we have there this is the permanent of all of this type of coffee here so this is the cost so we need to validate this cost so we need to run another functions called process coins because it, I will work with this coins here this function takes no parameters and then we need to take a total variables with the integer value and these are all input here as integer value and then ask them how many quarters they want so how many quarters they will enter and then with max multiply by open 25 I got from internet they need to input a times so how many times they will enter how many times and at all times by open open one and also we need to add another so it's all times to open 05 and the last one is integer input how many pennies point or one and this total will should be returned so we need to return the total so we need to return the total here. So now we have a total. We need to check it in our else block. If is resources sufficient means it's a past, it's okay. We need to take another variables like pay equal to process coin and antagonic variables. So if so we need to check this is we need to take another function like is transaction. Is transaction okay? So we take this function. Let's create this function here called is transaction okay it will take two arguments money receive and dream cost if money receives is greater or equal to dream cost this dream cost here we can change take a variables here called change and take this around money received here this money receives should be minus from dream cost and to print them that here is change in change Okay, let's. I forgot to add a string here, and of course, we need to take an asterisk here. Money received and dream cost. Okay, so this money received means this money received is pay. So, this is just what the users pay here in this machine, or what the users enter the money. This will be pay, and the second argument is the dream cost. This dream cost is comes from our data, so we can access this like drink cost so it says this and if the transaction is okay we can print okay let's test it again and see how it's work so let's say we want to latte because we have resources that's why it's, it's this function return true and goes to the next process now we are processing these uh, coins like it's uh asked our first question how many quarters that's why you can see there's a how many quarters i say that 40 how many dimes like 30 
so it will and then ask my third question so how many necklace 10 like 30 and last to 10 meter it will return the total here so you can see here is 1.3 in change it's check that this money received is greater than green cost this okay then it will change them this money or minus them from their there what the users customers input here and it will minus from the ring cost and it will return with the round value this change is 11.3 dollars i have to take it dollars here okay so this is the change here otherwise we need to tell them that they have no enough money to buy this coffee so we need to write there i need to say else i need to print sorry and of course we need to terminate this function because we don't want to go anywhere from there it's return false it will stop let's check again let's say i want a latte and quarters one 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 so you see there this latte is required 2.5 dollar but i i take one dollar this one dollar is in total is not really 2.5 it's less than 2.5 here that's why ill statement with this false earlier you can remember earlier we take a profit here so we cannot access this profit like profit and plus equal to let's delete them and take as a global so global profit now we can access them like profit plus equals to dream cost now we need to return true okay otherwise we return false let's run again and see like this time i need to i'll learn cabasino how many quarters like 40 12 41 50 so here is that 15.57 dollars change and if i now run this report you can see this profit here 3.0 and but there's a problem you may realize that these resources are still the same so we need to write another functions get coffee this coffee will take uh, take two arguments name and ingredients we need to look through them in the item for item in ingredients so we need to get all the items in these ingredients and to get the resources of this item because the resources what this ingredients has this this key water milk coffee it also has this resources water milk and coffee so and then it will be equals to ingredients i need to target this ingredients with the item so it will target this ingredients this ingredients is the water milk and coffee key and then it will minus them because this make get coffee is only call when this is transaction is okay that means this user has money to buy a coffee and then we, we added a profit here otherwise it will return false and it will stop here so that means if it not stop so it will go to the next functions so to get coffee and this coffee will be uh iterate through in ingredients because it takes arguments here and minus them from our ingredients so it will be minus from the resources and uh, we need to print it but here is your name okay. so let's add a coffee icon here i think that's better here this name is be like latte cappuccino instead of print ok we'll call this get coffee and in the first argument remember we take a name here so this name is comes from so what is just is type here like espresso latte and cappuccino is all of these types here so we can just write choice here and in uh, second arguments we have ingredients we need to target the ingredients and this drink uh don't have these ingredients we need to uh get this key with the call ingredients so now it is access these values okay you know to compare them with resources um minus from these resources and it will save in memory so let's see in our final code here let's run again i will say cappuccino so how many quarters t 30 40 so here is a change ten dollars and here's a cappuccino coffee this cappuccino is what we enter here that's why we take these choice parameters as well as ring ingredients so these ingredients will access them and to check this this work that our resources has uh, in stock in our machines we have 1000 milliliter water mill 700 and coffee 800 but after running this after we get a coffee here is a cappuccino coffee that means it should subtract or minus from the resources it should be subtract from the stock here so let's see the report here 
Now you see that the wood says 150 earlier it has 1000 milliliter and we have a profit here, three dollars. So this is our end of this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.